Hello everybody, today in front of me I have Nokia G11 smartphone and in today's video we are going to share the top 3 apps that you can get on this device. So let's go ahead and start. The first app is called WTMP and it's short for who touched my phone and basically this app allows you to take the imperceptible uh, photos once your phone is being unlocked or somebody is trying to unlock your screen and fails. So. Let's go ahead and launch this app. Here uh, we are greeted with some uh, instructions and brief uh, descriptions on how this app works and how this app should be utilized. Next, in order to activate it, you gotta tap on this gray uh, power button. But in prior of actually activating the app, we'll need to grant it the camera permission, the background permission as well. It is, well, the Actually, the battery optimization is optional, so we'll skip it as for right now. Next, we'll are obliged to give it the usage access as well. So find the application in the list and turn on this permit, permit usage access switch. Now we can get back. And as you will see now, this uh, gray button turned green and that means that the app has been successfully activated. So let's say our phone is locked and somebody is trying to access it uh, without any kinds of authorization. So he gets to the lock screen, uh, there is some pattern, pin or password uh, over here. He does not know it, he tries to, or she tries to guess it, but fails. And then it just locks the phone and leave it as it is. So next time we I'll take the phone and unlock it ourselves. Once we get to the app, we'll see that there are basically three entries. It should be two, but uh, I've accidentally locked and unlocked the phone an extra time, but it's okay. So there are entries for the device uh, not being unlocked and one entry for the actual unlocked device, unlocked screen. Once we tap on these entries, we'll see that uh, on top of the our screen, we'll see that the photo has been taken from the selfie camera, this one. The same goes for this entry and this one as well. So basically it just allows you to monitor, uh, this app allows you to monitor whether somebody tries to touch your phone as you could guess from the name of this app. Alrighty, so we are moving on to the second app uh, that is called Unseen and it allows you to bind some of the uh, most popular chat apps, messengers to it and get all the messages that you gain uh, from those chat apps, uh, get those messages forwarded to the Unseen so you will be able to read them at the Unseen application without putting them uh, into the red status on the original apps. So let's say for example you received some new uh, message uh, at your Facebook Messenger and basically you will be able to read it from here, from the Unseen without this the sender of this message uh, in the Facebook being able to see that the message has been read. So let's go ahead and launch the Unseen app as well. There are some starting instructions and descriptions over here as well. So you can read them if you want. I'll click on next, next. Uh, here we have like the core of three obligatory apps that we gotta, that gotta be connected to the Unseen. So it's Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp and Instagram and some list of optional apps that you can decide whether you want them uh, connected, binded or not, like Viper, Telegram and other stuff. I'll just leave it at the three standard apps. We also gotta give it some authorizations, for example, the notification access. So let's go ahead and turn on allow notification access switch and get back to the app. Alrighty, so now we can start using it. Uh, as it comes to the interface, the first step will contain all the messages from all across the apps that are connected to the Unseen. And then you have the separate tab for each chat app that is binded with it. So here we have the separate tab for the Facebook Messenger. The same goes for the WhatsApp and Instagram. There is also like, there are also some settings that you can play with, not many, but still. So that's pretty much it for the Unseen app. And we are moving on to the final app for this video that is called Photomath. And it allows you to take pictures or up upload pictures to it that will contain like any ma math problem and this app will get it solved for you. So here, once we first launch it, we'll gotta enter our age. Let's say we are 30 students here. There is also some brief description, but for the plus version of the app. Uh, in prior of using it, we gotta give it the camera authorization as well. So let's open the app settings, go to the notifications. 
oh my bad sure go to the uh, permissions here camera and allow only while using the app now we can get back to the photo math and start using it skip the ad here basically uh, you gotta just put the math, math uh, problem or equation that you want to solve inside this uh, frame. In my case, I have this uh, simple quadratic equation written down, so I'll just go ahead and frame it. Just like so. Next, click on the um, take a shot shutter button, this red circle. So now it will scan it and get it solved real quickly, as you can see. So the photo math has successfully solved this basic quadratic equation. Now we can go ahead and uh, well see some, well not some, <laughs> see all the solving steps it took for this app. And also, moreover, you can uh, tap on the explain steps and see the explanation for every in each step that was uh, that has been taken in prior to actually solving this equation. So, as I mentioned, a very useful app for the ones who uh, deal with math problems on a daily basis or simply want to, um, well, solve some equations or math problems in general and having hard times with it. Alrighty, so that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.